Good morning. What day is it? It's Thursday. Thursday. Yep. So I thought I would just get on and give you a quick update. I'm about to go into the gym, get a quick workout in, take a shower, and um, and yeah, I have a scooter to review, which I'm going to do that today. I have that, and remember the bike that got stolen, the one that I was like so anxious that I wanted. Um, well, got stolen, I got the insurance, I got the money, and I got the bike now, so I have to do that. But those are the only two things left to do, so if you see those reviews coming up, it's because I have to get them, you know. And the companies are great, they're working with me through everything that's happening. But what I really want to give you an update on is Joy, my mom. I call her Joy to you guys because you guys know where is Joy. Anyway, um, she has COVID. And I just didn't put it in the title because I don't think YouTube lets you say that for some reason. I have no idea why. But anyway, uh, yeah, so you know um, that you know my niece's daughter passed away and we were at the wake pretty much the whole time on Sunday. And that was from two to six. I think we left about 4.30, five. And then um, Sunday was the mass, the funeral. And um, so, you know, we were around a bunch of people hugging and, you know, shaking hands and stuff like that and talking very close because there were a lot of people there. Um, so I just want you to be really careful too. just know that, um, you know, it's back. And, um, and with Joy, it's a different story because, you know, she has AFib. She comes and goes in AFib. And, you know, she's going to be 94 on November 5th. Um, but she's doing better now. But yesterday, I um, actually I picked her up because I was taking her to get her shots, like her flu shot. We were going to get the RSV shot. We need to get the new vaccine. And um, But she said she wasn't feeling well. And I said, well, we can't. You can't get it if you're not feeling well. So I said, you go back and lay down. And then she had a list and I went grocery shopping. So got her everything she needs as far as groceries. So she's there and uh, yeah, I mean, she's like, has all the food she needs, cat litter, everything she needs. Um, but then when I came back from grocery shopping, she was like laying on the couch and it was like it was last year. If you don't know, last year I showed up and she was moving in and she had a hard time breathing and she was just le really lethargic. And I brought her to urgent care and it ended up she was in AFib. That was the first time that ever happened. And then we had to, she had to take a ambulance to the hospital because um, there were no beds. And uh, then she was in the hospital for like a week and a half, something like that. And I unpacked her apartment while she was in there. And uh, so she was like, kind of the same symptoms so um so I said we're going to urgent care and she did not fight me so I knew it was pretty bad and it's like a, a cold and a cough and like just labored breathing so brought her to urgent care and we actually got in quicker because um of her AFib and so she was in there they put you know things on her to monitor her heart and stuff and they took blood uh, they took an x-ray and she was an AFib. So that's the thing that comes and goes. If you don't know AFib, it's the top of your heart pumps really fast where the bottom of your heart then doesn't that pump slow and there's nothing they can really do about it. Um, so she comes and goes in AFib anyway. So she was an AFib and then they took a COVID test and then they found out that was positive. Well, then they said, we're gonna send you to the ER. So I figured it was the same thing as it was last year, you know, same. And, um, but they were like, so do you wanna take an, oh, they said, which hospital do you wanna go to? And, um, uh, you know, I'm like, we wanna go to the one like closest to us that we normally go to. And they're like, well, you can pick anyone because there are no beds available at any of them. But because she was an AFib and stuff, they, you know, she gets top priority. So they're like, do you want to ride an ambulance? Or, and I said, well, can I just take her in the van? Because it's literally not far from where we were. And so he's like, yeah, that's fine. Um, 
and uh, so it's funny they took her stuff off but they kept the patches on and then uh, they even kept her like port thing in oh I got my new tattoo it's an angel um, and so then I drove her to the ER and we got in there and oh my god that is the saddest place I don't know on earth but I've seen in quite a long time oh my gosh and we only had to wait like five minutes because she was kind of like top priority. Um, so there were just people everywhere and just, they all just looked so sick. And I felt so bad for like the caregivers because oh, just how overworked that they are. So if you are a caregiver, honestly, I am so grateful to you. And I don't know how you do it. But then we went into triage and they took her vitals. And first she was like only at 80% oxygen. So they were gonna give her oxygen, but she had this big mask. <laughs> and she's had it since last year. It was like one of those N95. I don't know, she just put it on. And then they took it off and put a regular mask on her. And then her oxygen shot back up to like 90, 95. And the lady's like, I think it's the mask. So she couldn't get good breath through it. Um, and so she took her off the oxygen and then her heart rate was fine. Again, she goes in and out of AFib. And um, so the doctor came, talked to her and said, you know, your vitals are okay. So I see no reason to send you home. And I was like, oh, thank goodness. Because listen, the hospital is the last place you want to be, especially right now. And they said with school starting and everything that there's just a big outbreak of it again. Um, so, um, thank goodness I don't have it, so I can take care of her, but um, she was starving because she didn't eat anything. So then we went through the drive through at Culver's and got her a hamburger and some french fries, and she wanted a big Coke. That's what she was craving. So she got that, and then um, after that, she was tired. So got her home, and she was gonna go to bed, which she did. Uh, yeah, so then this morning, I, well, I called her last night. She said she just woke up. She was, you know, better. And then I brought her two things of ice cream this morning. If you don't know Joy, Joy loves ice cream. So I bought her Neapolitan and uh, what was the other one? She loves Rocky Road, but it was Maple Nut because I couldn't find Rocky Road. So got her that and she was eating waffles. So that's a good sign. And so... Um, her breathing wasn't labored or anything, so she's doing better. Um, but yeah, what a week. Oh, and then after I dropped her off yesterday, I had to go, well, I didn't have to, but I did. I went to work to put the candy away because it just keeps me busy and my mind occupied. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I just wanted to give you that quick update on here and, um, and I'll keep you updated on Joy. Uh, I'm gonna try and get this review done today Hopefully I'll get it up tomorrow or Saturday. And then I have that bike to do. Hopefully I can do that review tomorrow. So then I'll be done with the reviews. And um, for what I have now. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I have to work Saturday and Sunday. And then I'm hoping next week to get back kind of in a groove, you know? Like, a, hopefully nothing, nothing big will happen. Um, and uh, I'm actually um, getting joy. I got everything figured out last week um, to move her into the assisted living home where my sister lives. So, and, uh, you know, did all the legwork last week and it, it, they have an opening and sent all the medical stuff, did everything she can get out of her lease on this end because if they go to assisted living, you know, it's not like they're breaking the lease to go live somewhere else. Um, and, and then I'll feel so much better because, you know, she'll be somewhere where there's like staff all the time and stuff like that. And actually they're excited. Pam was at the, um, wake on Sunday too. And, um, you know, they were talking about, you know, ordering in once a week and, uh, and you know, so I think it'll be really good. And it's funny, I uh, saw a maintenance guy when I was there, when I was going in to talk to a manager to see like, 
they had an opening and stuff. Um, and he had said, they own a couple buildings, and he said uh, they just moved a mother in another one of their buildings where her son was there. And so I guess it's more common than you'd think. Um, so yeah, so it'll be good uh, f for them to be together. Uh, so working on that. And Joy's excited. Um, but then it's moving everything. So my plan so far right now, don't know. So, and I have to go to North Dakota. I think I'm leaving the 11th of October to like the 16th uh, to go do makeup. I did a makeup shoot last year for the agriculture department. They loved our stuff and uh, we're doing one this and then I think we're doing one in the spring. <clears throat> so, um, you know, that's always good for me. Um, and I love to do that. So that's coming up. I come back the 16th. I was planning on leaving October 20th. We'll see how everything goes, but I am going to get Charlene back down to Florida. And if anything, she'll just stay with John and Keith. Um, and then depending on when Joy moves, um, I'll fly back up here and kind of coordinate all that. And now Jesse's home and Bailey's here with her. And so, and Al's here to help and all the people at the bar I hang out with, they all know Joy and they're like, we'll help, we'll drop everything, we'll help. So uh, got a lot of people offering to help. Um, so yeah, so lots going on in the last two weeks, but um, okay, I'm gonna go, you know what I do? I work it out, I'm gonna go work it out. Although I haven't worked out in over a week. Uh, I've had some drinks pretty much every night and uh, I've eaten like once a day and I've just eaten out like at Starbucks. I'll have a, have you ever had the spinach beta egg wrap? And now they have sriracha, the best. But um, so yeah, just wanna get through this week and then hopefully next week will be much calmer and I'll start a new, and there you go. So, um, so, okay, there's your update. I just wanted to let you know all that. And yeah, hopefully next week I'll get back in a groove. Um, okay, I am gonna say it, I'm sweating in here, it's hot. You know what to do, go out and make an adventure, no matter how big or how small. You don't even have to leave your home to have adventure. I just had, you know, some of them aren't as good as others, but life's an adventure and you just, you just roll with it. You just gotta, there's ups and there's downs. And when I found out, you know, I was gonna talk to a therapist and uh, you can't, you know, they do video now and you have to be in Minnesota to even video chat with them. So I'll be leaving. So there's no point for me to do that anyway. Uh, but I'm fine. I feel good. Um, and, uh, and I'll be really good when I'm with Keith and John. They make everything brighter. Uh, go call someone you love. And as Joy says, tell them that you love them. And don't you dare forget your magic. Okay. Do you see Chuck and Charles back there? They've been big support for me. <laughs> okay. Don't forget your magic. I will see you in the next one. Okay. Bye.